Some months ago, I was given the assignment to interview a young man, 21 years old, to determine if his repentance was sufficient for him to serve a mission. My heart ached as I read of the serious problems and transgressions in his past. I wondered if it would be possible that one with such a background could ever prepare himself to worthily serve a mission. I'll tell you flat out, it hurts so much to think of this. So from my thoughts I will exclude. The very thing that I hate more than everything is The way I'm powerless to dictate my own moods I've thrown away so many things That could have been much more And I just pray my problems go away if they're ignored But that's not the way it works No, that's not the way it works When I go down I go down hard And I take everything I've learned And teach myself some disregard When I go down It hurts to hit the bottom Now the things that got me there, I think if only I thought them. During the interview, I simply asked, why am I visiting with you tonight? And then he laid out the sort of details of his past. After reviewing and confessing again his transgressions, he began talking to me about the atonement and the years of painful repentance that brought him to this very interview. He expressed his love for the Savior and then explained that the Christ atonement was sufficient to rescue even a boy like him. Any control I thought I had just slips right through my hands while my ever-present conscience shakes its head and reprimands me, reprimands me. Then in the At the conclusion of the interview, I placed my hand on his shoulder and I said, when I get back to church headquarters, my recommendation will be that you be permitted to serve a mission. And then I said, I ask only one thing of you, just one. If you are privileged to serve, I want you to be the best missionary in the entire church. About four months later, I was speaking at a missionary devotional at the Missionary Training Center in Provo, Utah. After the devotional, I was standing in front of the podium, greeting missionaries when I noticed a familiar face approaching me. He extended his hand and asked, Do you remember me? Apologetically and somewhat embarrassingly, I answered, I'm sorry. I know I should know you, but I just do not remember. Then he said, well, let me tell you who I am. I am the best missionary in the MTC. I could not withhold the tear that slowly trickled down my cheek as I thought, here is a man. He met his Gethsemane. He paid the painful price of repentance. He has met the challenges. He has measured up to true manhood. To lift me up Behold a man, a man humble enough to submit himself to, to the redemptive powers of the Savior.